You're in fourth grade, and it's the last day of class. Do you remember the feeling of having no work to do all day, having no homework assigned? Do you remember cleaning out your desk, looking through all the duotangs and notebooks you were about to take home? Do you remember how warm it was? Do you remember that smooth and sweet breeze wafting in from the door leading outside and letting the sun peek in? Do you remember summer just a day away and the energy in the air? Do you remember your teacher asking a volunteer to close the blinds as they wheeled in the TV? Do you remember looking down and seeing all your snacks on your paper plate? Sugar cookies, bite-sized brownies, and, and I remember that. I remember those TVs. Chips, Doritos, cheesies, and pretzels galore. A can of soda. Yeah, it's very different. Very, very interesting art style. Do you remember style. looking over to your friends, seeing them look back at you, trading snacks? I think so many people that would just consider this just lazy art, Jr. but it's very specific. The on the TV, and that Pixar logo in all its glory fades away, and very, the very unique. Finally starts. Chances are, if you've ever gone to school, you know the scene I'm describing. For whatever reason, Sugar the cookie. last day of class in elementary school has this almost universal nice. scene associated with it. It's the one I just described. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially the shadows. Understanding shadows and highlights and art is everything. It's one I forgot until very recently, but one that I felt very strongly about when reminded that it exists. You know the one. Do you remember how carefree you were? How simple things were back then? How easy it was. The wood. Now, even though you the wood and playgrounds, yourself, you don't see those anymore. Glance back at the clock every minute or so. Don't see wood and playgrounds anymore. Closer and closer. Or at least not, still. not here. Every last day of class is a bit different. Maybe your teacher had you play games, or maybe they burning them. I don't potluck, shit. I'm I thought people just started getting a lot of splinters. Run around on the grass. But between all those slight variations oh, on shit. the same That's last crazy. day of class, there's always something. I didn't realize people were burning them. Your excitement. There was always just something so exciting about the last day of school. Oh, Not just oh because man. Every I remember this commercial. This hey, commercial was a shit. Come over and play Smash and eat junk till we're sick day. Or not just because your family is taking you on a road trip this summer. Plastic. Plastic is the way to go. I mean, want. it's and not, not just because but... of the sheer bliss and rebellion of metal is bad because of the heat. Sized brownies it would burn, and sugar cookies burn the kids. on a small paper plate in front of you, while your teacher wheels out a TV to watch a non-educational movie for once. But because of anticipating what was to come. You gotta admit, as great as that day was, as much as you were thinking about everything you wanted to do with your summer free time, there was always a part of you thinking about what comes next. And maybe you didn't recognize it then, but as great as it was, as much as you were thinking about everything you wanted to do with your summer free time, there might have always been a part of you thinking about what comes next. What comes after grade one? Something like the metal slides. We had a metal slide at, at what our. What comes after grade three? What comes after grade our, four? Uh, and elementary school as it playground. Is to think about that. There's a bit of fear there too. That's where the excitement comes from. I mean, excitement comes from the same place as fear. The hormones causing that yeah. reaction in your body are the same. Excitement is a response to fear. But yeah. was there ever any fear in the first place? I think for a lot of us, no. it's being in a period of transition, being between point A and point B, being between fourth and fifth grade. Transition like is unstable. It isn't safe. Things. I feel like fear comes from obviously the state of like being uncomfortable, and it's like no one wants to be uncomfortable, right? It's like going to bed, you want to be comfortable. Sitting in the car, you want to be comfortable. You know, streaming, you want to be comfortable. So, you know. It's, it's all about comfort, you know, being comfortable. But in order to move forward in life, you have to get uncomfortable. You have to get out of your comfort zone. You know, the little bubble that you that you put. You know, you you, you can live comfortably, and that's totally fine, depending on what you want to do, how you want to live your life. But once you understand that you have to, in order to move forward productively, you know, move up in life. Um, if it's, it's a corporate ladder or making your own business streaming making music whatever it is uh you have to you have to put fear aside because fear is only going to keep you down and it's the hardest thing it's the hardest thing for people to do is to is to put down fear or to get to get it out of the way because once once you conquer that you can literally do whatever the hell you want
things haven't mellowed out yet. We don't know if things are going to be okay or even if they're going to be comfortable. When you really start thinking about it, it starts getting scary. Who knows if things are ever going to be okay again? Or if things are ever going to be easy again or mm -hmm. comfortable or even acceptable does this mean now i'll get more homework does this mean now the work is harder will i be in the same class as my friends will i have friends yeah breathe it's just fourth grade yeah transitions are hard and that's okay. yeah i think this is the key word that he said right here is is um is breathe yeah i think a lot of you know people people forget to breathe all the time and I think, that, like you're saying, current anxiety comes from worrying too much about the future, you know, or even the past. You know, depression is about what happened in the past. Anxiety is about worrying about the future. And a lot of people forget about you know, the, the present moment, you know, the breathing, focusing on, on your breath, which is meditation, yoga, all that stuff like that, that, you know, Buddhists work on and stuff like that. It's what it's what's meant to kind of ground you and keep you here, but we're, our minds run so fast. I'm, I'm I'm victim to this, you know. But once you start breathing and you focus and count count your breaths and stuff like that, a lot of times you're able to just get away from all the noise and stuff that's in your mind and just focus, and then you can make decisions, but you know, a little bit more clear as opposed to you know, reacting based off your anxiety and stuff. Like it, it, it plays into the you know the whole fear thing again like once you breathe and you take 10 seconds to recollect yourself you're like it's not too bad it's, this isn't so bad i'm okay i'm gonna survive you know they're hard and that's okay no one wants to be a leaf flying around in the wind no one wants to be untethered or lost but you aren't dial it back you're just moving it's just like taking a step when you lift your foot from the ground, you've got to balance on one foot for a bit. That's what transition is. And that's okay. Because just like your foot always lands in the same place when you walk, just like life goes on now when you live through summer after summer, you'll be okay after every period of transition one way or another. And there's a bit of fun to be had in transition. So enjoy the cookies, chips, brownies, and soda while you have them. Those are the perks of transition. You get a little something you normally wouldn't get, and you get to enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Nice. Nice little, little mini video essay. Almost like a poem. That's crazy is the fact that it's kind of interesting that he, he put this as a you know a elementary school situation of transition you know it, it it breaks it down to like its most elementary you know system because it's like a lot of our fears a lot of our anxieties and depression are stemmed from what happens when we're kids you know we no no one ever talks about it you know, we, a lot of people don't go to therapy and stuff like that to get it figured out. But it's like, it's like if you learn to breathe, like he said, you know, you learn to conquer that fear. You learn to 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 step out of being comfortable all the time. You, you essentially just set yourself up for success. But it's just a, it's a, a, a everlasting practice of of having to do that. It's just it's never easy. It does get easier, but it's never like easy, easy. Yeah, that's a nice one.